Can you make a tornado in a bottle? All you need is a few supplies to get spinning. For this experiment, you will need two clear plastic bottles, water, small plastic beads, and some duct tape. Fill one bottle about three quarters full of water. As you can see, we've already done that. Add some beads to the water. This will make the tornado easier to see. Now, we put all the beads inside the water bottle. Use the tape to secure the balls together. Make sure that they are secure. And really make sure they are secure. Flip the bottles over so that the empty one is on the bottom and observe what happens. When all the water has drained from the top bottle into the bottom bottle, flip them over again. This time, swirl the bottles in a circular motion and observe what happens. Try this. Experiment. Discover the quickest way to transfer all the water from one bottle to another. Shake, squeeze, swirl, or let it sit to find out which method works the best. Why does this experiment work? When you swirl the balls, it creates a vortex that makes it easier for air to come in and water to flow out. Without a vortex, the air and water have to take turns flowing through the mouth of the bottle and may even come to pressure equilibrium, where nothing moves. You can also do this experiment with just one water bottle. It's the same things, just putting some beads and water into a plastic water bottle. Except that you pull the water bottle upside down and you swirl it in a circular motion. Like this. Notice how all the objects are drawn to the center. 